Okay. Here we go. We are going for the Apollo five turn kill. This is killing him before he transforms. To do this, we're going to use the weapons that go through his Aegis defense, like Excalibur, Gungnir, Gungnir, Flare, and Flare. I am not easy to defeat. We have to do 25,000 damage. And one of the things I did was I saved I saved the Hakate boots, which gives 15 mana to Dad, which really pumps up the damage that he can do. Now I have the mighty power of magic. Ah, uh, this is looking good. Damage rolls aren't as high as I would like, but Dad's rolls are very good so far. Feel how sharp this Masamune is! Here! Here it comes! We got him! We got him! Five turns, we got him! Up. Nice. Poor man. And uh having great tits Dad's on the ground apparently. As if it's my fault. For some reason Dad fell over. Sorry what happened? Great tits and correct opinions on everything. As if it's my fault. So the way we did this was every robot was equipped with the strongest uh strength attacks they have. All these dragon swords are the highest strength item you can buy. Sun swords give more strength, but like I think there's two in chests. I, I think they can drop from somewhere, but we have those. The Excalibur goes through the Aegis defense. So does Gungnir. One from the Nasty Dungeon, one from getting the drop from Odin. Sun sword and dragon swords. Equipping the glass sword gives a ton of strength, because the strength goes beyond the 99 you see there for the robots. And then the dragon swords. We just got just enough mana with Lit so that Flare did enough damage. But if I farmed up the mana even higher, she would do even more, which would secure it a lot better. And then Dad, we had the Hakate boots, which it was a big deal to give it to him. Without those boots, he has like a damage variance between 500 and 800. But when we put the boots on, he did over 900 every single turn. And that allowed us to kill kill Apollo at the end of the fifth turn. And the sixth one is when he transforms. So we killed him before he transformed. <laughs> Which makes this sad cutscene make no sense whatsoever. What a freaking chump. There's some other things too that can go through the Aegis shield. Like the laser gun. Some monster abilities like uh, beam, whirl player, etc. But usually all of those will do around like the 300 damage range. I think there's some other one-time use equipments and other things that do too, but they don't really do enough damage. So that is how we did it. <laughs> I love being strong. This video was brought to you by the power and the support of the mighty executive gamers who are known as the Madmar, Greenlow, as well as the licensed gamers who go by the names of Erin Bunny, Lissa, Madam Melody, The Things. Let it also be known that these gamers, oh, they are certified gamers. Do you also wish to become a gamer who is certified? Head on over to Patreon.com slash Boxandra to pledge your support today and you can become a gamer who is certified.